Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about transitioning into the new year and what better way to transition than to clear out your wardrobe, your closet, your walking wardrobe, whatever it may be. I often have suffered from a hoarding problem where I kind of hold on to old clothes that I know I'm never going to wear again and I have so many things in my wardrobe still with tags on it or I've just popped off the tags and worn it once and by once I mean for two hours to dinner <laughs> and then I put it back in my wardrobe and I'm never ever going to wear it again I've taken pictures with it I don't need it anymore and I've got my eye on something very similar but I have this rule which is the one in one out rule so before I buy anything new for myself this coming year I decided to get rid of loads of the things that I've got on this rail beside me and I need you guys to help me get rid of them okay a lot of this stuff is great quality beautiful in perfect condition and they need a new home and I thought you guys would really appreciate me sharing this all with you guys because you always ask me where I get some of my things from so what better way to just shop my wardrobe and get it for a great bargain like most of the stuff's going to be like half the retail price and all of that and they're not old at all and so i've got some dresses some jumpers i've got some shoes and a few accessories on a weekly basis i update my ebay account and add some new items on every single week um but i've never ever shared this with you guys so you guys have had no idea of the things i've been selling so if this video goes really well then i will continue to just do batches of eBay sales and let you guys know when they are up on my account. So I will leave all of the links down below for every single piece. So the first item that I am going to post is this gorgeous bronzy gold sort of copper play suit. So it's shorts and let me tell you guys this fits amazing. I have only worn it once and I wore it in Morocco on my birthday night. I went for dinner and that was it. So I probably wore it about three hours. Um, so it's still in perfect condition. It's got a nice plunge neck um, which is like a bit of a deep V and it just fits really well. And the material I was really surprised when this guy did. I thought it was going to be quite a flimsy sort of silky material but it's like layered and it's really quite thick and so it's figure hugging and I just love the way it cinches in on the waist. And I wore this with a white blazer thrown over me and some heels, which I have a picture of actually on my Instagram. So if you wanna just scroll down to July when I was in Morocco, you will see me wearing this. This play suit is a UK six. And the next item is very festive and very fitting for this time of year because it's got sparkle. Isn't this stunning? This dress is actually from Zara. It's got gold and silver sequins. So you can wear it with silver heels or gold heels. It's entirely up to you. And actually, this is the front of the dress. And I have never worn it this way. I've worn it one time and I wore it this way. So I had a bit of a plunge neck. It's not a deep V, but it's like a bit of a plunge that kind of pushes your boobies up so you get a bit of cleavage rather than have it this way. But the good thing is you can decide which way you want to wear the dress. It's stunning and this is a extra small. It's about a six to eight sort of size and yeah the sequins don't come off. It's not glitter so you're safe. So the next dress going up which I have to say I'm really sad to let go of but the reason why I'm putting it up is because I have never ever worn it. I bought it months and months and months ago and thought I'd keep it because I'm definitely going to wear it and up until now I still haven't so that's one of my rules if I know I'm not gonna wear it because I haven't worn it for months then it's time to go because I'm just gonna keep having that excuse right so this dress is from Topshop you may have seen it and it also came in a pink but it was a different style it's a bit of a bandage style and it is a mini dress so it comes in not too far above your knees and what drew me to this dress was the chain detailing so it's a halter neck style and at the back it's got the chain detailing and you sort of open and close it from here um, and it's got a zip along the side and it's a UK size 6 and I do believe that this does fit a size 6. It doesn't have the tag on it but it is brand new. The reason it doesn't have the tag on it is because I tried to force myself to wear it so I took the tag off so I knew I couldn't take it back. Um, and then I never wore it. So it is literally brand new guys. So the next two items, I feel I'll do them together because they are very similar. They are both little black dresses, so LBDs, and they both have leather paneling in some way and a bit of cleavage. This is the front of one. Isn't it stunning? It kind of comes just like 
not off shoulder but just it gives that nice neck cleavage that I like and this is the other one which is a bit more of a v-neck um both very plunging with the boobs both black and both have leather paneling so this one has just the leather on the top and this one has the leather along the bottom and along the middle of the front they are both from Zara and they are both extra smalls and the only reason why I'm selling them is because I don't fit them anymore I bought them maybe two years ago and they used to fit me amazingly so this just goes to show that I've actually put on some weight there's no point trying to force myself into wearing them because I can't see myself really losing that weight anytime soon you can't go wrong with the LBD you can wear them anywhere i used to wear this one with a nice bold red lip and some gold heels i remember when i wore that outfit a long time ago and this one i actually wore to a job interview with a blazer and i couldn't wear this to a job interview with a blazer anymore because um yeah it would just be too daring continuing with the black leather theme then i have this black leather false leather uh, top from zara and it's really cool i've never ever worn it i've had it for about a year now um i bought it and i've never ever worn it so i'm never gonna wear it really and truly i'm not really am i so it's just time to get rid of it it's so cool it's got this like paint sort of yeah i'd say it's like white sort of splattered paint design with this gold on it and it's got like long sleeves which are also leather and the back has a zip a gold zip along the back and this is a size small from zara but i guess i can introduce this bag because actually this bag will look really nice with some black leather clothing and this bag has a black chain detail on the sides and it's a sort of like um tweed sort of i don't know it's like tweed, black and white tweed, like kind of like hound's tooth, dog tooth, whatever you want to call it. Similar to that, but not as strong of a print. And um, I love this bag. I only wore it twice. Um, it's got a zip at the top and um, it's like a pouch. You can probably wear it as a clutch too. But what I would say about this bag is if you do want to kind of hold it, because it's quite floppy, you will need to sort of fill it up. This really cool, like an off shoulder, oversized jumper, and it's in a really sort of fluffy material. Kind of reminds me of like cashmere, to be honest with you. And um, I really like the back detailing. It's got this sort of rigid, sort of cutout sort of detail on the back. And this can be worn off shoulder with like a plain vest top underneath. And I bought this jumper from TK Maxx. I'm not familiar with the brand, so I'm just going to list it as TK Maxx on my eBay account. And it's a medium to large, so yeah, it is quite slouchy on me. So I think it's one of those jumpers that anyone can wear if you're a small, medium or large. Next up, an item I have worn once is this really cool bomber jacket. This is the back. It's got that sort of Chinese style, you know, with like the floral print. It's like a sort of silky kind of style material. And um, yeah, it's just really cool. It's a bomber, but it's a flat, silky, stylish bomber, which I think can be worn over, say, one of those LBDs to add a bit of a casual vibe. Or it can be worn with jeans and it's in khaki, of course. Khaki and gold are amazing together. And it's from the store called Stradivarius. This is a size small and it just fits amazing, but I've never worn it. This jumpsuit is amazing. I've actually only worn it once in a lookbook that I filmed last year, summer. So if you wanna go through what my old videos, you'll see there's a summer lookbook that I did. Next we have more of a casual style dress and it's this monochrome casual long sleeve dress and it's got a bit of a peekaboo section at the front and um it's very 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 mini and that's why i'm selling it because this is something that i'd probably wear to work right and i remember wearing it to work one day with some dark tights thankfully and by the time i got into work and looked in the mirror in the ladies i realized that it was very short and not appropriate for work so i know i won't really wear it on a normal day so yeah, I thought I'd sell it. I do love it though. And I think it would look really cute with some knee high or thigh high boots. I don't have thigh highs, but those would probably be perfect for this. And moving on to some heels, I have a few different heels that I'm going to sell with you guys because I'm not wearing them and they are just being wasted away in my wardrobe. So these are the first pair of heels that will be up on my page. And you're probably thinking, why on earth am I selling these? 
It's really simply just because I don't wear them because I'm more of a gold girl when it comes to heels. So I recently bought a new pair of gold heels and I thought these may as well go um, because I'm just not wearing them. And I've owned them for about two years now. I don't know if you will recognize when this shape came out in Zara, it was the block heel. This is when the craze for the sandal heel came out and Zara came out with this heel as well as a slimmer heel as well. And they are a size 39, so a UK six. And they're amazing, they're silver, sort of that metallic sort of vibe if you can see that I do love them but I'm not wearing them and it's all about detaching my emotions from items and selling them on for the new year so that I have new space in my wardrobe and these are another pair that I am quite sad to see go but I've only worn them on one occasion and that was on my 22nd birthday so last year July and I wore them with a gorgeous gorgeous red jumpsuit that I've already sold and it was a deep V amazing and if you go on my Instagram and scroll down to two years ago you will see them but these are just Cavalli so they're the brand Cavalli and they're really flirty they're really really statement like look at that hill isn't that stunning it's like a, a slim hill with that oh it's amazing it's a mirrored silver and I do like the sort of monochrome detailing at the back and they fasten with this zip these are a 38 so a UK size 5 and that's another reason why I'm selling them because I sort of loved them so much that I didn't care that they were too small for me and I knew I was only going to wear them for a few hours. Um, so yeah, now it's time to sell them on to a real size 5. <laughs> the last pair of heels that I'm selling are these black court shoes from And Other Stories. They have a rusty sort of dull silver heel. They have never been worn out before. They actually still have the tag. I purchased them from TK Maxx um about a year ago now and i've never ever worn them they are all leather so you'll see that and you can see that from and other stories from the labeling on the inside and what i felt was really cool about these is they're kind of like a boot hill so they've got this platform but it's a thin platform so it's quite flat and it's in the same sort of rusty um silver and i've just never never known what to wear them with so that is why i'm selling them on to you guys and they're never ever worn Still have a bit of the tag still on them. They are a 39, so they're a UK 6, and they are true to size. So we'll head back over to some more clothes that I have on sale. And this is a really cute and flirty jumpsuit, which I purchased from, was it Boohoo? Pretty little thing, and it still has the tag on it, so it's never ever been worn. And I actually purchased this for my holiday to Morocco, but never got around to wearing it, so that is the simple reason why it's being sold. It's like a turquoise, sort of greeny blue. It's really, really stunning on. It's got a deep V, and this is a size six, but I would say that a size eight can also wear this jumpsuit because it wasn't as fitted on me as I thought it would be. And another dress I'm selling is this pinky red dress with a bit of a ruffle on the bottom and a bit of a ruffle on the front. I wore this once again for my mum's birthday dinner at Hakkasan. So if you go on my Instagram, you will see me about two pictures I think I've got wearing this and that's the only time I've worn it. It's from Zara and it's a size small, 6'8". And it's one of those dresses that you just throw on because I remember that day, I think I had got back from um, Portugal the day before and I had no idea what to wear to dinner. So I threw this on with some heels. This can also be worn casual or on a normal day with some tights or boots um, and a long coat as well. So yeah, it matches my lipstick. <laughs> okay, so I have a few white items that I'm selling. The first one is this skirt from Misguided. And it's one of those stretchy, really nice stretchy and comfortable skirts with a bit of a side split just there. It's going to be really, really cheap. And that is in a size six. So I have another gorgeous gorgeous dress that I purchased from ASOS last year for my birthday. It's this white maxi dress. It sort of has like a goddess feel. I love 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 the cape detail at the top and it's got a plunge neckline so it's not a deep V but it sort of pushes your boobies up again. I think I love cleavage don't I? So I wore this dress with some nude pointed heels and I had my hair slick in a straight middle parting behind my ears and I had really statement 
gold earrings on. So I kept my makeup and my hair and jewelry very simple and I let the dress do the talking. This dress is a size six, again purchased from ASOS and the brand itself is called Club L and it just looked really beautiful. So again, if you want to see how I wore it, head over to my Instagram and scroll back to last year. And lastly guys, for today's video anyway, there will be more to come, is this fur gilet. It's obviously false fur and this is like a false suede material on the outside. So it's like a black and gray and it's not long. It's quite short. It's like a waistcoat, I guess. And it has a small little tie in the middle. And this could be lovely worn with a nice thick jumper underneath or like a plain long sleeve polo neck type jumper with some jeans or some knee high boots and you know just that really casual but put together look especially right now because it's cold and the more layers the better. I purchased this from TK Maxx. I think this fits about a size 6, 8 and it's very fluffy and I've never worn it. It still has a tag on it. So guys that is all that I'm selling in this batch of help me sell my wardrobe or whatever I'm going to call this video um, but there will definitely be more batches coming and maybe sooner than you think because I'm constantly constantly going through my wardrobe and as I was saying I really want to have a clear wardrobe for the new year because I do want to buy new stuff and I'm sure you guys can relate to me when I say that just keep an eye out on my page which I will link below and I'll link all these items below when they are up as well and I will also do updates for you now and again on my Instagram or my snapchat because that's where I tend to do a lot of updates on a daily basis so I really hope you guys have liked this video and yeah just get buying eBay is very very simple to use this is not an ad I am a eBay seller I have been selling things since uni I also have some uni books on there too that I'm selling some law books so if you guys are any budding law students or anything or you're interested have a look over there they're all really really cheap and again I will have a bid but I also sometimes have a buy it now price and if you want to bargain with me go ahead message me and ask me a price that you would be happy with so keep an eye out and I hope you really enjoyed this video Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe, comment down below and tell me if you like this and leave a thumbs up. Love you guys very, very much and take care. Bye.